take it from them or take it from the like two or never mind thank you this will mean the world to his family the town would have been would have revolted if these artifacts had not been returned it's not far to the hero's hometown look for the town clerk when you get there fucking way such an elegant use of rage and anger Pain. you wouldn't expect it of the barbarian hordes and hurry it's not wise to anger the spirits of the dead by delivering uh, delaying their proper burial rites. Ha! Let us see how you progress with that millstone around your neck. Of course, you can remove your curses at shops if you can find them. Still, I'm keen to see how you handle your disadvantages. Well, I'm gonna deliver it, and hopefully he'll be in within the next five steps. Here's return. Oh, okay. Right there. Altar. Whimsy and caprice. The domains of the old gods. Yes. Were they always thus? Or has age corrupted? I have a good ages? chance. Oh, thank you. Treasure picker. When the Useful. player chooses from multiple equipment or game cards, the choices available are increased by one. Heck yeah. Here's your turn. Look. Look deeply. This is the fate of heroes. I mean, I'm gonna return it. Thank you. This blade was, will once again be wielded in righteous fury. Do you also have the shield? Yeah, I do. Truly, you have done the Almighty's work in returning his shield. Thank you. Here's two blessing cards! I knew it! Always good, dudes. Always do good deeds you'll be rewarded eventually i made that a little too powerful i will have to rebalance that next <laughs> any kill made using an axe grants the player three health and whenever i'm attacked Very nice by a indeed every time or whenever the player is struck by a range attack there will be a chance that the attacker will be stunned by three seconds yes feels good to be good nice so is that burden gone it's better than trudging along a muddy road certainly the burden's gone right i appreciate your efforts i worked hard on this game it is a pleasure to see you play a ship at dock is worth nothing until it sails yeah, it's gone and then scorch we meet again Easy. I only find the rat people hard. Oh crap! Oh, that's right, you can't be interrupted because of the curse. sure you are grateful for that hell yeah thank you what I will happily wager on the outcome I do not think you have what it takes oh you're minding your own business in a local tavern when suddenly three masked men burst through the doors grab a young man from the bar and manhandle him outside one patron bursts out in protest but is quickly silenced by the solemn stares of all those around him. Leave them be, Garrett. If it is his time, then it must be done. What? Follow the mask. Yeah. What? Follow the masked men outside. Immediately, you are confronted by a large crowd all wearing masks. Their leader speaks to you. Whoa, stranger. I would really prefer that no outsider witnessed what we're about to do here. I know this may look like a godforsaken thing we do, but you have no idea of our troubles, so I'll ask you not to involve yourself. I will not ask twice. We have no time for objections. What? The crowd turns and brags and drags away the young man, their torches burning a mournful light in the distance. Once the light 
has faded from sight, you follow their path into the forest. You catch up with them and to your surprise, they are guarded, gathered around a yawning portal that whirls with malicious portent. Despite their disguises, it's obvious that none of the hooded figures relish the sight before them, and many are obviously distraught. The captive is carried to the portal atop the shoulders of six people as though they were his coffin bearers, and he is already dead. The young man's struggles are subdued by bonds of rope. What is happening right now? I mean, it's obvious that they don't want to do what... It's probably like an offering to something. Oh my god. Now I regret coming out here. Like, I thought they were like... KKK members about to lynch someone, but now it's... Oh man... This is like the first choice that I'm gonna regret doing. But I'm gonna interrupt it. It'll save one life, but then probably kill the entire town. Is uh... My thought on this, but I wanna interrupt. The next time I'll stay hidden. No, wait! Should I stay hidden and see what happens? But then like, I'll... I don't know. I like to be a person of action in these events. I'll interrupt. You burst forth from your hiding place and plead with the assembled crowd not to go through with whatever bizarre ritual they are engaged in, but you gain no support. Their leader eventually speaks above the crowd. If this man is so abundant that one of our own should not be sent to the underworld, then perhaps he should go himself. You're immediately seized by the crowd and pushed toward the portal. Try as you might, they're too strong for you and you cannot escape. You stumble and fall into the portal. You fall to the ground with only a gentle, gentle jolt. You find yourself in a forest that bears a most striking resemblance to where you just were. With two very significant differences, the crowd of masked onlookers are gone and the sky burns with the bright red flames. I'm in hell. I'm in hell. Out of the sulfur and flames emerge foul hell beasts. That's a first. It's a hell portal, huh? Yeah, this looks nice. Oh, these are the rat people reskinned, basically. Okay, can't dodge that. These things are tough. That was kind of tough. They had lots of health, but got through it. Are we going against the devil? After you destroy the last hell beast, the portal stirs back to life. You're lifted off your feet and sucked into the vortex before being deposited back into the leafy forest you were ejected from earlier. This card's token is now yours. Here is your token. Well done. Oh, that's it. I wonder if we get to meet those villagers calling the rat men. Our lives are often lived thus, are they not? Oh, no. Pushed back and forth by the whims of nobility or power. Gonna take a drink. Okay. All the lands in the kingdom are being overrun by rat men. Merchants in my lamb lands are attacked on the road, as are any travelers such as yourself. My guards are needed here with me, but if I had just 50 gold, I would hire a mercenary army to find their nests and call their numbers. Well, it's too bad, I don't have the 50 gold. I would, do, I, f I would definitely do it though. 
I understand that contributing to the common good may be unfamiliar to your sort. Wow. But I urge you to return immediately if you have a change of mind. What a douche. I don't have the money. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. Bye, King. What brings you to play the game? Ha. I know you will not tell me. Oh god. Like all the rest, you are silent. Whilst sleeping at an inn, you jolt awake to find a bandit rifling through your belongings. You're quick to your feet, weapon already in hand. The bandit laughs. Oh, clearly drunk. Easy there, princess. Spare an apple, would ya? There's a good lad. He stands unsteadily, clutching a stolen apple and some coins. You grab his arm in protest and earn a punch in the face. Looks like Nancy here wants to fight. The bandit laughs again, spits at your feet, and turns to leave. You know what? Fuck you, man. With one practice swing, you execute him. A surprised gasp is the last sound he makes. Suddenly, the room fills with the bandit's lackeys. All right, bring it, assholes. They say you're more honest when you're drunk, so... Speaks about his character. Thieves dealt with, you accidentally wipe your brow and a hand slick with blood that has run down your weapon. You turn hoping to find a wash basin and you find yourself once again in the presence of a ghost from the forest. Its eyes so familiar, so real compared to its shifting body look at you in fear. You took their lives so easily. Are you already lost? Remember who you are, who you were. I've lingered too long. Thank you, Devander, for the follow. I have lingered too long in this place. It drains so... Do not forget me. You blink, and the ghost is gone. Those eyes, gone. What? I guess the other choice... I would have gotten the qu extra quest? Huh. I don't regret it. This is a town where people just pillage and kill, so... <sighs> Less bandit in the world. In the shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant. I only have 10 gold. I'll just continue on. Hey, lady. Hungry mouths. War leaves nothing else. While crossing a forest clearing, you meet a peasant woman. Greetings, stranger. The oh wait, it's a woman. Greeting, uh. <laughs> greeting, stranger. Oh god, that's an awful voice. Uh, greeting, stranger. The winter has been hard on my family this year. In the forest behind her, you sense movement. Is this woman gonna trick me if I tell her I have no food? Oh boy, I'm gonna give her five food. Oh god, thank god. The woman takes her food eagerly, passing it to some children who suddenly rush from the forest, hands outstretched. You have given enough, enough food to survive through the winter, stranger. She retrieves a sack from behind the bush this was my husband's before he died. Please ex accept it as thanks. Oh, I don't want to take it. L lady, I wasn't here to trade. I just wanted to give you food because I trusted you and I trusted whoever was behind the bush wouldn't stab me in the back. 